Good day, beautiful, bountiful, beloved, immortal beings, and good-looking people. Remember, you're good-looking, you're always looking for and finding the good. That's the definition of a good-looking person, always looking for and finding the good. We have good in abundance. <laughs> Buckle up, because this is one of the most goodest shows you'll ever experience with Sean Kelly and your humble host, Barry Shore, the ambassador of joy. And you tuned in consciously and conscientiously to the Joy of Living podcast for one reason and one reason only. It's the best reason in the whole world because you care the most in the entire world about you, Y-O-U. And that's great, by the way, because when you become the best you, you make the world a better place. You build more bridges of harmony, you create more joy, happiness, peace, and love in the world. And as you know, in this show, we discuss the three fundamentals of life. And when you work with the three fundamentals, you will be happier, healthier, and wealthier. We guarantee it, or your money back. Now, the three fundamentals, of course, are number one, life has purpose. That's right, your life has purpose. And when you lead a purpose-driven life, number two happens. In this case, a good number two, you go MAD. Now, MAD is a wonderful acronym that stands for make a difference. You lead a purpose-driven life, you make a difference in the world. And the third fundamental is to unlock the power and the secrets of everyday words and terms. Simple example, our, this show is being carried around the world. You're joined by 376,921 people. And by the time Sean Kelly comes on, we'll have over 380 plus thousand people. And thank you for always recommending to your family and friends to tune in. And all I ask is that you share those with five people. That's it, five people. You want to do 50 or 100? It's up to you. But five people at least, we can touch a million and a half people. So it's carried on the internet. Ask anybody, what does WWW stand for? Invariably, it stands for the internet. Now, factually speaking, they're correct. But in our world, the world of the positive, purposeful, powerful, and pleasant, WWW stands for what a wonderful world. And what is the word, right? W-H-A-T-A. And of course, a tip of the hat and a big thank you to Louis Armstrong, Satchmo, for enabling that song, What a Wonderful World, to go viral and touch not just millions or tens of millions, or hundreds of millions, but billions of people around the planet. And whenever you hear the opening bars of that song, What a Wonderful World, what do you do right away? You can't help it. You smile. Now, smile is one of the most important words you've got to be internalized, utilized, and leverage in your life because smile stands for seeing miracles in life every day. That's right. Seeing miracles in life every day. Now, sometimes when I go on, I do in-person shows. Just recently, I did one with 1,172 people. I have people raise their hands and say, hey, Barry Shore, Barry Shore, I've been up for hours. I haven't seen any miracles. And I ask them, are you here? Can you hear? Do you, can you stand still? I can't do that. Can you walk? I can barely do that. Do you have water to drink? Do you have food to eat? Do you have a place to sleep? Do you have family or friends? Every single one of those is a miracle. And what's the proof? Simple proof. A million people didn't get out of bed this morning. You know why? They died. By definition, if you're watching or listening, you didn't. Therefore, you have an obligation to live life to the full. Live exuberant. I'm going to hear a lot about that from amazing Sean Kelly, who lives life to the full. So just before we bring him on, I want to urge everybody to hear a quick story. It's about me. Imagine, if you can, standing up in the morning, completely hearty and healthy, able to leave tall buildings in a single bound, and that evening being in the hospital, totally, completely paralyzed from the neck down. It's called being a quadriplegic. Nothing in my body moved. I could only communicate by blinking my eyes. And it wasn't an automobile accident. It wasn't a spinal injury. It was a rare disease to go over my body I never heard of before and rendered me completely paralyzed. 144 days in the hospital. I was two years in a hospital bed in my own home. I couldn't turn over it by myself. Four years in wheelchair. I had braces on both my legs, my hips, my ankles for years, and that was progress. Thank God today I'm able to be vertical and ambulatory with the help of a seven-foot walking wand made for me by a Zen master. So I'm a tripod, not a biped. I can't walk up a stair by myself. I can't walk up a curb by myself. I help 12 hours a day, seven days a week. But you hear my voice. Positive, purposeful, powerful, and pleasant, all because of this one word. Smile. Seeing miracles in life every day. But I got to tell you quickly, <laughs> my eight-year-old niece comes over to me a few weeks ago and she says, Uncle Barry, Uncle Barry, can we spell smile? S-M-I-E-L. I thought about it. Smile, smile. Sounds the same. Why not? I asked her, how come? She says, because then it would stand for seeing miracles in everyday life. Out of the mouth of an eight-year-old. But what was she doing? She was creating the kind of world that she wants to live in. Now, create is a fabulous acronym. It stands for causing, rethinking, enabling all to excel. 
That's what happens when you use rethinking. You're going to discuss this with Sean Kelly in a few minutes. And it's the ability to shift your perspective. Now, I've been working with people for more than four decades. And I can tell you 97.2% of all the people I start working with, they drop the F in shift and the other stuff happens. You got to keep those Fs in place. And then what will happen is you'll be able to internalize, utilize, and leverage the six most important words you'll ever learn, which are choice, not chance, determines your destiny. Choice, not chance, determines your destiny. How you choose to respond in any given situation will show you the path of life and your trajectory. Now, I do want to warn everybody in advance that I, your humble host, do use a lot of four-letter words. I even use the four-letter F U word, and I do it because it's fun and the shock value. Now, of course, the four-letter words that we use because we live in the world of the positive, purposeful, powerful, and pleasant are love, life, hope, pray, play, free, swim, grow. And the four-letter F U word is fun. Fun, that's right, F-U, capital N. Now, right away, some people say, hey, Barry Shaw, fun's only spelled with three letters. Not in our world, the world of the positive, purposeful, powerful, and pleasant. Fun is spelled F-U, capital N, and capital N. So after the show, you see your family and friends, point your finger, smile on your face, twinkle in your eye, and say, F-U, everybody, but add right away, capital N, capital N. So where'd you get that? I said, listen to Barry Shaw on the joy of living. And he then you have an opening to discuss what we're going to be doing today with wonderful Sean Kelly. So before we bring him on, just going to urge everybody to learn to use the two most powerful words in English language three times a day from now and the rest of your life. And these two words are, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks stands for to harmonize and nurture kindness. Imagine you go in the coffee shop and you order your fancy latte, somebody brings it to you, and you say, thank you. you. Go to the coffee shop, you order fancy latte, a couple of minutes go by, nobody brings you, go to the kind and say, I'm sorry, we forgot, we'll bring it, sit down. It's a couple of minutes go by, somebody brings you, still say, thank you. You're walking out of the coffee shop and somebody opens the door for you. You say, thank you. You're walking out of the coffee shop and somebody slams the door on you. You say, thank you. You're late for an appointment, stuck in traffic, somebody cuts you off. You say, Thank you. Get up in the middle of the night, you stub your toe and it hurts. You say, thank you to harmonize and nurture kindness. Kind is a great acronym that stands for keep inspiring noble deeds. I can't think of anybody at this moment that inspires noble deeds more than I want to share with you than amazing, wonderful Sean Kelly. Sean, please say hello to 382,927 people around the world. Wow, what an intro. I'm honored to be here, man. You got a crazy story. Thanks for having me. Well, first of all, Sean Kelly, it's a pleasure to have you here. And when was the last time somebody said F you to you and you laughed? Uh, F you. I don't get too many of those. Actually, in the comments, yeah. It's usually at my guess, but it happens, you know. But they say F you, capital N, capital N, right? Fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love that. Okay. So we're going to talk about three things with Sean. And I'm just so tickled that he's here. And if you don't know who he is, you got to look it up. And by the way, everything you want to know about Sean, just go to my website, barryshore.com, B-A-R-R-Y-S-H-O-R-E, barryshore.com. All the stuff will be there. So don't take notes. Just lean in and get feel the experience and get ready because we're going to talk about PMS. PMS? What is that? Well, that stands for Podcasting, Mindset, and Spirituality. We might do them in reverse order, but that's so you get a hook. You remember PMS, whether you're a man or a woman, that's what we're going to be discussing. So mm -hmm. wonderful, Sean. I see that nice smile on your face. Let's begin with that. Let's talk about the S word, spirituality. Mm. What? I mean, let's be blunt. You are younger than I am by a number of decades. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I don't know your exact age, but I presume it's somewhere between 27 and 29. And uh, so you're 28. <laughs> <laughs> 27. 27. Thank you. And um, I know that because I sang happy special happy birthday song, which only Barry Shaw could deliver. It's a special one on his 27th birthday. So there's 48 years that separate us, but yet not. And that's the genius, in I, my opinion, of spirituality transcending time and space. But I'm asking you, Sean Kelly, with, thank God, many millions of people, and if you haven't heard of the Digital Social Hour podcast, you owe yourself this one. 
again, just go to my website and all the information will be there because it's leading edge. It's edgy and it's great stuff. Talk to us about spirituality, please. Yeah, what a journey I've had. So I grew up Christian. I used to go to church every Sunday. Can you hear me? It's kind of blurry on the screen. Yes, go okay. ahead. Yeah, so I grew up Christian, went to church every Sunday until I was in my early teens. Then I went through a really weird phase where I called myself atheist. And that was interesting, not not believing there was a purpose in life for probably, say, 10 years until I started the podcast and then had on certain individuals, Mateus De Stefano, Robert Edward Grant, Robert Gilbert, uh, Billy Carson, that really opened my eyes to spirituality. And now I would say it's something I practice every single day and it's something I really believe in. So let's unpack a little bit here. <clears throat> when you say you were raised Christian, uh, I won't ask for a particular denomination, it doesn't matter. You were going through the motions, but the good news is you were with your family. Do you have siblings? Only child. Only child. And that in itself is a, a challenge. Let's be blunt. Uh, my wife and I are married 47 years, and we have one child. And I can tell you, only child is a challenge in the sense that we have a community that we're part of where three children is considered a small family. Mm. We have people, friends that have four, six, eight, ten, ten. Okay, so there you have going to church with your parents and loving it simply because you're with your parents. Mm -hmm. And then hitting, a, we'll call for one of a term, some sort of wall and saying, okay, what is this all about? Yeah, I think I was too logical at the time, and I wanted physical proof that there was a God or whatever, and I just went through a, a dark phase of atheism, believing there was no purpose, and that was pretty pretty insane, honestly. And you are an intense guy, let's be blunt. You know, somebody who is able at this age, at 27, to first of all recognize that you went through a phase and to go through that phase and know you were convinced that there is no purpose, there is no God. You were looking for, you were asking for proof, and it wasn't there. Mm. And by the way, that's the nature of God. I'm giving you, I'm not that I'm an, an expert on God, I'm an expert in searching, mm. seeking. I've been a seeker, much like you, since a very young age. And proof of God's existence is beyond the ability to grasp is like smoke. Mm -hmm. However, there are numbers of hints in everybody's life that there is something beyond self. And I think that's part of the, is the issue that we're talking about. Is that fair to say? I agree, yeah. So now let's talk about spirituality, but not in, let's say, and not in the woo-woo sense. How does spirituality affect Sean Kelly, on a daily basis. Not that you practice something, but that it's in, integral to your very being. I just try to really align myself with, with my purpose. So I used to just work for money. That was the number one thing, probably when I was 18 all the way up to 24, 25. That was my number one motivator. And it never really felt like I was at peace with myself, honestly. I would wake up with anxiety and stuff, and it just felt like I was always chasing something. But recently, with the switch to uh, Purpose Driven First, it's been incredible, man. I haven't had any anxiety, uh, no more depression, and the money's still coming in, man, which is wild, because I'm barely focusing on it. Okay, I want to give a shift here for people. I'm happy to tell you, Sean, that 80-plus uh, percent of the people listening are under the age of 30. So you're in your milieu. And people love me still. They don't care that I'm 75 chronologically because I'm, I'm 48 metabolically because I swim two miles a day, six days a week. Mm. My mental acuity is 28 because wow. I work with a lot of people in the internet world in the 20s. But here's what makes the difference. My SOW is 8. So yeah. you're saying, okay, Barry, I like you. What's an SOW? Sense of wonder. Mm. I'm an eight-year-old. And the key of that is, because I learned this from my mentors, is to be somewhere between six and nine. 
Below six already, eh, you're still getting some. At six already, you're beginning to be interested. When you get into double digits, the schools quash you. So keep between six and nine as your sense of wonder and things can happen. I want to unpack something because you were so spot on. So if you don't have purpose and you don't see particularly the, re the revelation of God in one's world, then money becomes God. Let's be blunt. It's just, it's so much easier. You can measure it, you can see it, you can smell it, you can touch it, you can spend it, use it, etc. And yet, as my father taught me, he used to say, my dear beloved son, I want to teach you something. It took me two decades to understand what he said. Money is a wonderful servant. It is a horrible master. Mm. And that's what you were feeling, I think. It Absolutely. was... It was your master. It wasn't your servant. Absolutely. And there's no end game to it. You set these goals and you hit them and it's still never enough. That's the tricky thing with money. So that's a dangerous thing to do. I want everybody to hear the D word he just used. It's a dangerous thing to do because it inevitably leads to excess in something. In your case, it was anxiety. Thank God it wasn't drugs. And here's where Sean just gave us an important key of life. In money, when you chase it, it's always beyond your ability to catch it. When you shift from chasing to become more spiritual and say, okay, I'm not doing that, guess what happens? You moved yourself into what we call the law of attraction. And you said it beautifully. You were in the mode of attraction, not chasing. And when you're in the mode of attraction, it's a law. Law stands for love and wisdom. How do you like that, Sean Kelly? Love and wisdom. That's a law. The law of attraction says you would like to do good in the world. You have purpose. I will aid you. Mm. So when you chase, there's no end game. When you attract, and you're not even consciously attract, just say, I'm here to serve. Am I right? When you're in service, guess what happens? You must attract because you want to serve. <laughs> Absolutely. And also chasing takes a toll on your body, man, because I did that for years, like I said. And I was having gray hairs at 21. Isn't that crazy? Uh, you don't have gray hair now? None anymore, yeah. Now, I'm going to – are you dying your hair, Sean Kelly? I'm not. I'm not. No grays. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm happy to say that I earned mine. You know, <laughs> I've been through stuff, and and uh, the fact that you have hair on the top of your head in abundance, believe me, I'm not jealous, but boy, I remember those days. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go deeper into the spirituality aspect of life. What, was there a, a moment, was there a time that something clicked and you, you said, Oh, yeah, it was a life changing moment, actually. So my father uh, committed suicide, unfortunately, two years ago. Oh, Sean, I'm sorry. Yeah. So I found myself in a situation where it was like, wow, did my actions lead to this? And could I have been been there for him more? You know what I mean? So I saw some help, talked to all sorts of spiritual people and uh, came across a psychic and uh, I know that's a controversial thing, but for me, it just helped me get some closure, you know? So that was a very pivotal moment for me, I'd say. <clears throat> I'm not usually speechless. I'm just pausing for a moment because that's, that's big. How was your mother? So my parents were divorced um, when I was 10, but she's she's good. She's dating again. They weren't really close at all, so she wasn't too affected by it. Were you close to your father in, in the couple of years before he committed suicide? I would say we were close. I think I could have talked to him more. We were distant, so he was still in Jersey where he raised me. Um, but he didn't have many friends, so he would talk to me a lot. And it, he has two other kids. He would talk to one of them a lot as well. Oh, so he was he had a second marriage? He had, yeah, I was his second marriage. He had two other kids from the first marriage. Uh-huh, okay. And then divorced your mother also? 
yeah, two divorces. Um, he was really close with me and one of the brothers from the first marriage. He cut off the other brother. Phew. So all boys and we're, okay, this is getting really deep stuff, but <laughs> the, the important thing is that there was a life altering moment for you. And what we're going to do is come back after the short break and go even deeper into spirituality and talk also about mindset because that's enabled you, I believe, to get into the mode of service and attraction instead of chasing. So we're going to go. We have wonderful sponsors who love the show. We vet them. We urge you to consider using their products and services. We'll be right back for this brief message. Don't go away. There's more Sean Kelly in the other side of this. Good day, beautiful, bountiful, beloved immortal beings. Have I got something special for you? Yes, it's going to prolong your life. You're going to thank me. This is called Prolon, P-R-O-L-O-N. Now, let's be blunt. Everybody knows that fasting is healthy. You know that fasting also can be challenging. Hello, I'm not going to eat. But with Prolon, you're going to be able to eat and fast at the same time. Does that sound strange? Well, it is, but it's not. So get this. Prolon isn't a diet. Prolon is science, science based on prize winning discoveries in medicine. And it all starts with Prolon's five day program snacks, soups, beverages, all designed to keep your body in a fasting state. It's unlike anything you've ever experienced. Now, I can tell you, I've been doing intermittent fasting for many years. Everybody knows fasting is good for your mental acuity, for your physical being, for your overall well-being and reducing your blood sugars. So I want to urge everybody, I'm going to use, I use Prolon. It's exactly what I do use, and it's convenient, and it's backed by this great science. And most importantly of all, it works. So here's what I'd like you to do. Prolon is offering the joy of living listeners, that's you, our dear beloved audience, 10% off their five-day nutrition program. Go to prolonlife.com forward slash Barry. Now, it's Prolon, P-R-O-L-O-N life.com forward slash Barry for the special 10% offer. Go to prolonlife.com dot com forward slash Barry. You will thank me. You'll be sending me notes. And I urge everybody, do it. It's good for you. Go forth. Live exuberantly. Spread the seeds of joy, happiness, peace, and love. Go mad. Go make a difference. Good day, beautiful, bountiful, beloved immortal beings, and good looking people. Maybe good looking, because you're always looking for and finding the good. Our cup runneth over with good. His name is Sean Kelly. He is the host, along with his co-host, Wayne Lewis, of Digital Social Hour podcast. And I urge everybody to uh, go to my site, barryshow.com, learn about it, get involved, because it's it's just great stuff. I mean, really great, upbeat, wonderful. You, you do a great job, Sean. You don't need me to tell you, but I'm telling you. How do you like that? Doesn't it make you feel better that I'm telling you, do a great job? It does. I love positive energy. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's shift now into that remarkable experience of your father committing suicide and you emerging from this, this terrible situation of being dark and deep in chasing money, which, as you said, has no end game, yeah. and coming into the light. And let's talk about the P. We remember we talked about PMS. Yeah, we're starting with the us, with spirituality. We're moving into mindset. Mindset, please give us your understanding for you and how you experience mindset for those around you. Yeah, it's shifted a lot, but that situation was so interesting because on paper, everything looked so great about my life. I had millions of dollars in the bank, millions of followers. I was killing it. And then my dad does, does the incident, right? And I really had to take a step back because I sacrificed so much to get to where I was at. I gave up friendships. I gave up alcohol, weed, uh, sex for periods of time, and really just focused on making money. And that was my life for five years, man, just working 15 hours a day, just chasing it, w really with no idea of what I was going to use it on. So it was uh, a shift I had to make. And um, now I don't chase it, like we said earlier. And that's that's pretty much my mindset now, just doing stuff around my purpose. 
I have on podcast guests that you've never heard of. They have maybe thousand followers because if I think their purpose and their message is going to inspire millions of lives, I'll have them on the show. That's the problem with a lot of bigger shows. They only have on people that have a huge following. Uh, another reason why I like Sean Kelly, because he understands that the, the a great definition of humility is the following, Sean. Knowing you have the power and knowing that it comes through you, not from you. So that you can become a cog, what I call a channel of goodness, a child of God. And you can be of service and help other people who have a great message. Doesn't matter if they have a thousand followers or a million, doesn't matter. It's the message that makes the difference, right? And that's the mindset. By the way, I want to mention when you talked about <clears throat> that you were working only for the money and you gave all, all, the, all this other stuff and you focused and you're working 15 hours a day. It wasn't 15 hours a day, Monday through Friday. It was 15 hours a day, every single day. You yep. were obsessed. You were controlled. As I said, as my father taught me, money to you was a master. It wasn't your servant. And until and unless you were able to break through. So let's define mindset. What is your mindset today? You said aligning with your purpose. What's your purpose? Purpose is to inspire, to educate people on the truth. Uh, one of my big goals right now is the public education system, getting people second opinions on that think outside the box a little bit, not be part of the system. And that's pretty much my main thing right now, because I saw what I went through with the public education system, also how it affected my friends, my family, and really people aren't aligning with their purpose when they're caught up in that machine. So you remember how we introduce our show every time? The three fundamentals of life will enable you to be happier, healthier, and wealthier, and you're proving them all. The first one is recognizing life, your life has purpose. And when you lead a purpose-driven life, you go mad. Mad means make a difference. You want, you need to make a difference. Not that you just want to make a difference. You have a need to make a difference in the world because otherwise, why are we here? See, you understand also life is a great acronym. It stands for living inspirationally for eternity. Even though there's a finite amount of time that you may be on this physical earth, you recognize because you're a spiritual being now that you live in eternity. I'll give you a great acronym for joy. Would you like to hear it? Yeah. Joy stands for journey of you. When you recognize the journey of you and that you are unique, special, capable, now you can live in joy daily, no matter the circumstances, right? Yeah. So let's hear from the... 27 year old man who worked feverishly for millions of dollars but cut off life and now is doing even better in terms of the monetary piece and has a purpose and a mission and talking about inspiring, educating towards truth. Truth, by the way, is a wonderful acronym, it stands for total reliance upon the highest. Mm. You like it? That. Yeah, I love your <laughs> acronyms, man. I love how you simplify everything into an acronym. Right, because it, it allows people to remember. What was that truth? Okay, okay. So give us an, an idea of what it means for you now to spend to invest your day. In other words, are you now more regular about going to sleep and not waking up with anxiety? So you, I'm just making it up. Uh, I, you go to sleep by 10 o'clock and you're up at 5 in the a.m. and you're feeling refreshed. Again, you don't have to, I'm, not, I'm just saying it. I don't know what the truth is, but yeah. I want to hear from you. What is now your mindset as a spiritual being to be able to manifest your purpose? I love that. Yeah. And anxiety is something I struggled with heavily, actually. I was prescribed Xanax in college, um, was taking that every day for two months, decided to cut it off, had a seizure, actually. So I almost died when I was 22 years old. So ever since then, I haven't done a single drug for anxiety. I try to do everything holistically, and I haven't had it in, in a while, man. And I think it's just being being healthy is definitely part of it. When I was working those five years, didn't go to the gym once, didn't take a single vacation, 
had no spiritual connections with anyone and my health was just deteriorating. So now it's something I take super seriously every single day. I try to do something healthy. I actually tested my chronological age. I know you said you're 28 and that's something I'm trying to work on as well. I'm 21 on mine. Yeah. yeah. But don't go below 21. Um, but I want you to think about your SOW, your, your sense of wonder. And try and remember Sean Kelly at about age eight or seven mm -hmm. and, and visit him every once mm -hmm. in a while from the point of view of, wow, look at that. Flowers, trees, what's that all about? Fluff. That sense of wonder will keep you in your mindset and in your spiritual purpose. Because I love that. Because you, the genius of what you're doing is that you're showing people, many people, again, thank God we have a large listening audience and people are going to share this with other people. We can impact a million and a half people just because they share with five people. It's the ability to recognize that you can take control of your life choice not chance example i'm not taking that drug anymore you made a choice you didn't yeah. just say well i i, I can't so uh, give you uh and i want to go deeper into mindset i want to if you'd be so kind you take you take your health seriously so give us an example of two things that you do health-wise in addition to not doing drugs Tell me two positive things that you do. Wim Hof breathing method every single morning, grounding <laughs> every single morning. Um, that's super important. Uh, what else? I wear a whoop bracelet. I just started doing that. Um, there's a ton. I mean, I don't drink plastic water bottles. There's so many different things I'm learning from guests. And it's awesome because each guest, I'll incorporate at least one thing from what they teach. So I'm just learning at a rapid pace. And it's crazy, man. But going back to what you said about being eight years old, I love that because I was so creative at that age. But the problem with public school is they made me feel bad for it. And I was in the principal's office every single day, actually, thinking I was a terrible kid. That's exactly why I asked you. Because unfortunately, in quotation marks, the system is not geared to creativity is not create not geared to creative people not geared to fostering genius which every single human being has you'd agree yep and that's why when you said the l word learn <laughs> to be able to learn from others with others and to grow from that growing is a great word generating rays of wisdom that's what grow means generating rays of wisdom. So that the Vinhoff method, if, if anybody doesn't know, again, go to barryshore.com. You can look it up and such like that. It means that Sean is wonderfully crazy because he goes in ice water every day, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do his breathing technique. Have you have you tried it? Um, the breathing technique, no. I, I have my own that I learned from my, my teachers that goes back 3,000 years, but and I'm a fan of his. So if he has a breathing technique, I'm in. I love it. Love it. <laughs> because breathing, by the way, and we'll do this maybe on another time, breathing is an essential element to the human. There are three things that we need. And one of them, I call it learn to blab. Blab stands for breathe like a baby. Mm. Because most people breathe shallow. And I'm sure Van Hoff talks about this, is you want to breathe deep into yep. the lower area. The uh, It's just it's a, a way that people don't know unless you practice it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're just breathing just to stay alive. What you now learn is breathing to enliven yourself. You see the yep. difference, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And side note, I actually tape my mouth at night because... If anyone here listening snores or it's a mouth breather, that actually helps me a lot too. Okay, so uh, give us an idea of what it is that you do, let's say, again, in the morning, the technique. Yeah, so it's Wim Hof's. So you take 30 deep breaths like this and then hold your breath as long as you can and do that three times. So I can hold my breath for four minutes and it's like a form of meditation and it's really cool. Okay, wait a minute. You just... Phew! You threw it out as an idea. Hear what he said? He can hold his breath for four minutes. 
Okay. When people hold their breath for 30 seconds, they go crazy. <laughs> That's how I started, though. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, now I'm going to sh let's share with people why I love Sean Kelly and why I'm, I'm calling you genius. And again, every single human being has genius. If you tell yourself anything different, you're limiting yourself, right, Sean? We don't, we're here with no limits. There are no limits. And when you begin with 30 seconds, you don't say, oh, I want to get to four minutes. You may have a goal, but if you go to 30 seconds and the 32 to 35 to four, what will happen is the being will expand with you. Mm. You will grow. It, remember, generating rays of wisdom. You will grow into it. And that's what you're doing now, right? That's yep. the beauty of learning and growing. <laughs> and breath is such an important aspect. I, I'm happy to say that I published three books last year. Uh, one is called The Joy of Living. You deserve it. Another is a, called A Pocket Full of Acronyms, 100 plus acronyms. And the third one is called O Shift. And we use Scrabble tiles, O H and then S H I F below the line T. So you got to keep your F in place or else the other stuff happens. But it's that shift in perspective. So the ability to shift your perspective and recognize that you can do this. So in the book, I speak about the breathing technique. Because without deep breathing, there is no life. Mm. You could be living, but you're not going to be alive. You won't have that mental acuity, the physical endurance. Am I right on this? Absolutely. It's huge. Oh, <laughs> it's life enhancing, right? Yeah. And if you could do it while you're grounding at the same time, you just feel so good, especially being in nature. I gave up nature for five years, which is crazy. And by the way, just to everybody understand, you live in uh, the Las Vegas area. Yeah, I'm in Vegas right now. Right. So I live in Henderson. So we're geographically very close to each other. And we says talk about nature. So people might think, oh, my gosh, they live in the desert. Well, first of all, the desert is alive and quite filled with all kinds of things. And there's lots of hiking trails and nature all around. It's, it's really quite wonderful, isn't it, Sean? Yeah, you got Red Rock, you got some lakes nearby, you, you got what you need. I do miss the water, like the ocean, but you could just fly over to Cali if you need to do that. Right, well, we just moved here two and a half years ago. We lived at Venice Beach for 45 years, right by the water. Nice. So I, I can sympathize that we missed the water, as <laughs> I was just in Los Angeles last week. Uh, by the same token, you're right, there is water around. There were lakes and things, and it's the, the ocean has a... a rhythm and a harmony that one misses because it does do wonderful things. It's the, there are only two things in the world that give you negative ions. Interestingly enough, negative ions are, are good things. You know this, right? There's mm. two things that give it the ocean, that rhythm and rain in a forest. So after mm. a great rain in a forest, there's a different smell, a different feel. And there's literally negative ions in the air. Wow. And you, you can actually buy a negative ion machine. I had oh, cool. a couple in our house for many years and it's just wonderful. It's just, it, it's a different charge. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about now podcasting because this is where, as they say, podcasting has been good to you. Wonderful. Sean Kelly. Yeah. You may, you, you were able, again, you were in dark place and yet you produced something wonderful. The production that you really was wonderful is you came out of it. However, being in it and being able to touch millions of people, followers, we'll call them, and being able to produce great content, people that start to be wanted to see and still want to see, and it earns you lots of money. As you said, millions of dollars. Yeah. Now, people think they're going to be, hey, I want that those millions of dollars. Listen to what Sean is telling us. You want it but you don't want it at the cost of doing the wrong things. Am mm -hmm. I correct on that? Yeah. Well, let's talk about your podcast journey. Who are you? Why are you doing it? And what does it mean? What do you do, Sean Kelly? I know. What a journey. And I'll start off by saying there's no growth and comfort, right? So starting a podcast was the most uncomfortable thing I've probably ever done. I was a huge introvert growing up. If we had to give a public presentation in school, I would skip class that day because I was so terrified of talking. <laughs> um, so it was so uncomfortable. My first 10, 15 episodes, it was unnatural. But 
it's one of the best decisions I've ever made in my whole life because now I'm seeing the results. I'm seeing the lives that are being impacted. We're changing people's health. We're changing people's mindset. We're helping people make more money. It's just incredible, man. And it, it's such a fast way to get a message out there. Every single episode, the spider web effect, you know it as a, as a host yourself. Uh, but yeah, I used to watch Joe Rogan with my dad growing up. Uh, every single episode, they're like three hours long. And we did that for years. So I think that sort of inspired me subconsciously. And I kind of do it to honor him now at this point, because he, he loved podcasts. He watched some of my early episodes and would always text me. So it, it's just such a, a purpose thing for me at this point. Uh, I want to make mention of something. This is in the book, The Joy of Living. You deserve it. Uh, as I mentioned, people in the beginning. So I was a quadriplegic for years. And during that time, uh, I had a lot of time to think. <laughs> I'm, not moving, I'm not moving. I'm not going anywhere. And I developed what we call the 11 strategies for learning how to live in joy daily, no matter the circumstances. And one of the strategies is get uncomfortable because i have a great line the comfort zone is where dreams go to die mm. get out of your comfort zone and you're proving it isn't it wonderful and yeah. i'd be willing to wager right now that you challenge yourself still to get out of your comfort zone you've learned to do that because you know well let's take the the win hoff method the breathing okay that wasn't your comfort zone if I if, if I said to you, oh, by the way, Sean, you're going to be uh, doing this deep breathing and hold your breath for four minutes, you say, come on, Barry, I love you, but that, that, that's unrealistic. Well, yep. get out of your comfort zone, right? Yeah, you need to do it every day. There's certain guests I have on that are very challenging, and it's it's not there's no growth if you're just going to have on your friends on your show. You got to have on opposing views. Yeah. Well, we're going to oppose Sean right now because we're going to go to a break. We have sponsors that love us. We Again, we vet them. We urge you to consider using their uh, products and services. We'll be right back with more Sean Kelly right after this brief message. Don't go away. What if you could shop at your favorite local stores, swipe your current credit card, and get extra cashback rewards? And what if you could also have donations sent to your favorite cause at no extra cost to you? What if this amazing program was absolutely free and very simple to set up? Well, what if is here. Welcome to Einstein Cares, where your everyday shopping gives you and your favorite cause extra money. It's fast, it's easy and effortless. Good day, beautiful, bountiful, beloved, immortal beings, and good-looking people. Maybe good-looking, she's always looking for and finding the good. We have good in abundance. His name is Sean Kelly. He's a man, 27-year-old man, who's been through process, what we call joy, because joy stands for journey of you. He's on a journey, and if you've been listening thus far, you're <laughs> mesmerized. And if you haven't, you have the recording, and that's fabulous because this is the way. Go to barryshore.com. Barryshore.com. You'll learn all you need to know about Sean Kelly and the things that he's doing because he's making a difference. He's a madman, and we love that because we love mad people, people who live with purpose. And he wants to inspire and to educate. He's, his, now, his issue now is working with public education to not – to make sure that we don't squelch creativity, but encourage it, because every single human being has genius. Sean, let's deep go deeper into this whole the whole process of podcasting. Let's be blunt. I think that there are two million plus podcasters in the world, mm. and in the people who have more than well, pick a number five million followers, or we'll call it five million downloads, even. Uh, you're, you're in rarefied atmosphere. You know that. So would you encourage people still to get involved in podcasting? Yeah, but it has to align with what we talked about earlier. You need the right purpose. If, if money is the number one motivator, then I definitely wouldn't. I don't think it'll work in that scenario. But if it comes out of passion, then yeah, I definitely recommend it. You know, when I, I actually started one five years ago and it was just for money and it didn't work. So I, I'm speaking from experience here. So it really has to align. It's not for everyone as well. Okay. So let us hear two 
characteristics that it would work for. So one is the, the most important one is the foundation. Foundation is a critical part of everybody's life, and that is purpose. Align with a purpose. Now you have your purpose, your passion. Tell us two tips, if you would, that you as a successful podcaster uh, either urge other people to consider or for yourself. You're going to have to be a really good listener um, if you don't have a big following or wisdom like yourself. So I talk, I try to talk 20% of the episode. I try to have the guest talk 80%. And I think that's why I've been successful. I emphasize the guest on every single uh, episode and I barely talk and I try to stay neutral. I mean, there's some guests that are really opposing and I'll let a comment out, but I think as a host, it's important to let the guests get across their messaging and let the viewers decide how they want to react to it. And secondly, you're going to have to find ways to get really good guests on. So you're going to need to work your way up use social media. I use Instagram and I email them to get them on, but that's important to grow because you're leveraging their following to grow your platform. So two wonderful pieces of advice, and they're not just pieces of advice. These are strategies for success. And then, by the way, they work in every aspect of life, <laughs> not just podcasting. Number one, listen. Listen is, uh, it's a skill. Because it doesn't come easy to most people. Let's be blunt, right? I married 47 years to the same woman. I've learned how to listen. It's not easy, but it's so worthwhile, especially when you're married. And number two is good guests. Well, good guests is akin to finding what we call yaw yaw. Want to hear what yaw yaw is? Yeah. Y A W Y A W. You are who you associate with. Mm -hmm. So in your case, it's guests. And again, even they can be, have opposing views. That's not the issue. You're not looking for opposing views. What you're looking for is stimulating, interesting conversation and let people decide. Mm -hmm. But that's who you are. You are who you associate with. In other words, you're with Vin Hoff. You know why? Because you're using his techniques. That's who you associate with. Mm -hmm. And when you were before, you cut off everybody. That's what you said, right? And tell me about a little bit about your co-host, Wayne Lewis. Yeah, I met him uh, through the crypto space. I made some money together. And I don't know if you're into numerology, but we're both 33 life paths. So we got, we got along there and uh, played basketball together. He lives out here too. So he's a solid dude. Well, I, I happen to like, not like, Yes, numerology for me is much like what I do with words. I'm I'm an I'm the king of acronyms. That's what they call me. And um, but I saw that you had Gary Grinberg on. <laughs> and, <laughs> so yeah, okay. You know something. This this leads us to our next point. Uh, and I'm sorry to say it like this, but our time together is coming to a close for the moment. So I have three questions for you, Sean Kelly. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Number one. Will you come back again? Yeah, this was fun. Okay. F you, baby. Uh, <laughs> number two, Sean Kelly, you have 80 seconds to answer this question. Mm. What is your most fervent desire? Fervent. What does fervent mean, actually? Fervent means unbridled passion. You cannot live without it. Live without it. Wow. That's a tough question. That's why I ask. Can't live without it. I would say, I mean, the generic answer is obviously my fiance. I can't live without her, but I want to get deeper. Um, I, I would guess meaning and purpose. I mean, I know I've said it the whole episode. People are probably getting tired of it, but my whole life has really changed through this podcast experience. And I just feel amazing, man. And it's hard to describe if you're not dealing with it, but my life was almost lived like a program the first 25 years i felt like i was just following orders following a script and didn't know what i was doing honestly and didn't see the end game but now i've accepted a lot of things i've accepted death i've accepted whatever happens and uh i just feel like i'm really here right now to inspire to educate and i can't wait to see what happens see where this thing goes inspire and educate Wonderful. Thank you. And the third question, can I give you a hug in front of 387,918 people around the world? 
Yeah, we'll have to do it in person, but we could do a virtual one. Okay, we'll do a virtual. Let me tell you what HUG stands for. Heartfelt, unlimited giving. Mm. Ready? One, two, three. Roar! <laughs> <laughs> Love it. This is Barry Shaw, the ambassador of joy, and our amazing guest, Sean Kelly, the host of Digital Social Hour podcast. Everybody needs to see it. Just go to barryshaw.com. Remember, on this show, the Joy of Living podcast, and we urge you, share this with five friends at least. You want to do 50 or 100? It's up to you, but at least five so we can touch a million and a half people around the world. Because in this show, we discuss the three most important fundamentals of life, which will make you happier, healthier, and wealthier that we've been discussing with Sean. And they are number one, life. Your life has purpose. And we lead a purpose-driven life. You go MAD. MAD is a great acronym that stands for Make a Difference. And the third is to unlock the power and the secrets of everyday words and terms like W. WW, what a wonderful world. Smiles, seeing miracles in life every day. Or as my eight-year-old niece says, seeing miracles in everyday life. Create the kind of world you want to live in, as Sean Kelly is telling us. Causing rethinking, enabling all to excel. And there's a shift in perspective. Keep that F in place or the other stuff happens. And then what you'll do is you internalize, utilize, and leverage the six most important words you'll ever learn. And they are choice, not chance, determines your destiny. And learn to use four-letter words. Remember, the kind of four-letter words we live in, the world we live in, and the positive, purposeful, powerful, pleasant are love, life, hope, free, gift, play, pray, swim, and teach the world to F you. Capital N, capital N. So I have to show you, see your family and friends, have a smile on your face, twinkle in your eye, and say, where'd you get that? So I listen to Barry Shore. He wants to teach the world to F you. And then you'll have an opening and say, what is that all about? I said, well, I'm listening to Sean Kelly, and he's talking about moving from chasing to attracting and making the world a better place. And then use the two most powerful words in English language three times a day from now and the rest of your life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Dan, for to harmonize and nurture kindness. So a, a blessing from Sean Kelly and Barry Shore. Go forth. Live exuberantly. Spread the seeds of joy, happiness, peace, and love. Go mad. Go make a difference. Sean, don't go away. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Joy of Living podcast. Now that's another step towards your healthier, happier, and wealthier life. Never hesitate to do good in the world, no matter what the situation. Join us for another upbeat discussion next time at BarryShore.com. And be sure to leave a rating and subscribe to the show to get more conversations like this. And remember to share it with your family and friends too. See you on the next episode.